do you need to scrape off information or text from a PDF file or an image using Power Automate but don't know how to? Then let me show you how. Let's imagine for this demonstration that we have a PDF looking like this. This is an example of a sales invoice that I just found online uh, that contains some customer information and some, some totals on some different things that has been sold. If we want to scrape some of this information off, how do we do that? Well, first things first is that we will create a new flow. So let's just create a new OCR in the PDF flow. We will use the OCR technology. OCR stands for Optimal Character Recognition, if I'm not mistaken. And it's basically a technology that allows, um, or that, that captures text or what looks like text on the specified either picture or PDF file that you, that you specify. So it used to be the case in Power Automate that you would have to do a couple of actions uh, to get this up and running. Uh, you would have to initiate a OCR engine, and then you would have to reference that engine and start pulling off uh, or start performing your actions. But for now, in, in these new updates from 2024, we can simply just search for OCR, and then we will use the extract text with OCR action. And when we drag that in, we can see here that it's already prompting us to choose which engine that engine that we want to want to use there's two types of engines to choose from windows and the tesseract i've seen a lot of forums online saying that you need to use the tesseract engine but i've actually i've found minimal differences between the two and in the example that i did yesterday when i was prepping for this um, uh, video i actually found the windows ocr engine to be better than the tesseract so for this demonstration we'll just keep it at the ocr windows ocr engine then from here, we don't want to uh, scrape off the information that's on the screen or at the foreground window. We want to reference the actual uh, image that we just had up. So if we just find that image, which I have stored here, I'll right click and then I will copy as path to get the file root or root for the file. Um, and then in this example, we will just uh, search and extract all of this stuff that we can from the uh, from the PDF. And that was basically it. And the way for us to showcase that this actually works, we can just use a display message. Let's call it text in PDF. And then we will reference the variable that we just created with the above action. And then we should be able to just run it from here. And this is then the output of it. It doesn't look so great, but we get all the words out. If we can compare it or if we compare it to the actual invoice, we can see that it says sales invoice, Stripe shop. We're capturing that sales invoice, invoice number, the date, um, the invoice number and the order number. And then also all the stuff down here with the thank you for your order. We're capturing all of it, keeping it short and precise. Thank you. See you in the next one.